Imagine stepping into a car that never needs charging, never stops for fuel, and seems to run endlessly on its own mysterious power source. That's exactly what happened when we got behind the wheel of Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered electric vehicle, a machine that is already rewriting the rules of transportation. This wasn't just any test drive. It was a journey filled with unexpected revelations. Today, we reveal seven shocking surprises that left us questioning everything we thought we knew about cars, batteries, and the future of clean energy. The silent awakening. The very first surprise came the moment we pressed the ignition. There was no roar, no hum, not even a faint whine you'd expect from a typical EV motor. Instead, the car came alive in absolute silence. So silent that passengers wonder if it had even started. And yet, the dashboard lit up, systems powered on, and the vehicle was ready to move. It felt like switching on the future itself. Instant, seamless, and eerily smooth. Power without a source. The second surprise hit us only minutes into the drive. Normally, you'd keep one eye on the battery percentage, anxious about range. But in Maxwell's car, the battery indicator didn't drop. Not even a single percent. We were watching something that should have been impossible. A vehicle generating its own continuous supply of energy defying the limits of physics as most engineers know them. Acceleration like nothing else. Then came the acceleration test. At first glance, the car doesn't look like a supercar. But the moment the driver pressed down, it surged forward with an intensity that pinned us to our seats. No delay. No lag. Just pure, instant torque that made even seasoned engineers in the back gasp. One of them whispered, This isn't normal EV performance. This is something else. The endless drive. Hours went by. Then more hours. Normally, by this point, an EV would have stopped at least once for charging. But Maxwell's machine kept going, smooth as ever, as if it had just left the garage. The true test wasn't just about range. It was about endurance. And this car was showing endurance that rivaled science fiction, the mysterious tech inside. Midway through the journey, we pulled over to examine the heart of the vehicle. What we found shocked even the experts. Instead of the massive lithium-ion battery packs found in Teslas and other EVs, this car housed a compact, unconventional power unit, something Maxwell calls a green energy power box. No charging ports, no fuel lines, just this mysterious, self-sustaining core, humming quietly as if holding a secret no one else has cracked. Public reaction. By now, word had spread. People on the streets stopped to stare, some even recording as we drove by. Many didn't believe it was real. Where's the charging cable? How is this even moving? One passerby shouted. It was as if we were driving a ghost, something both awe-inspiring and impossible to explain. The question of proof. The final surprise wasn't about performance speed or even the range. It was about credibility. Scientists, engineers, and skeptics had gathered at the test site, each determined to find flaws. Yet as the miles ticked by, the questions only grew louder. Was this really the future of transportation? Or had Maxwell uncovered a loophole in energy science that no one else had dared to imagine? The turning point on the test track. The car had already logged more miles than any EV on the market could dream of. Yet Maxwell insisted on pushing further. He directed the driver to keep circling the closed test track, lap after lap, under the watchful eyes of engineers, skeptics, and journalists who were live-streaming the event worldwide. Then came the shocking moment. After over 20 hours of continuous driving, the onboard diagnostics still showed full operating capacity. Not only had the battery not drained, but the system was actually reporting stable energy reserves. The crowd erupted in disbelief. Some scientists stepped closer, demanding to see the telemetry in real time. Maxwell calmly allowed them direct access. The figures didn't lie. The car wasn't consuming power in the way traditional EVs did. It was producing power while driving. Experts scrambled to explain. One electrical engineer shook his head. If this is correct, it means the car isn't just conserving energy. It's creating it. This rewrites energy science as we know it. Another muttered, almost in shock. Tesla, Rivian, even NASA. They've all been working on closed-loop systems for years. But this, this is beyond anything on paper. Cameras flashed. 
Reporters dialed into their networks. The story was spreading in real time. An African-made car, defying every known limitation of physics, was outperforming the giants of Silicon Valley. The world watches. By the next morning, clips of the drive had gone viral. Social media was ablaze with debates. Was this the world's first truly perpetual motion car? Or was Maxwell simply leveraging a new kind of untapped natural energy source? Hashtags like hashtag infinite drive and hashtag Africa leads the future began trending. Investors, analysts, and tech leaders were suddenly awake, desperate to know if they were witnessing history or a hoax. And in the middle of all this, Maxwell remained calm, saying only one line to the cameras. This is not magic. It's science that others have refused to believe. The challenge. But the real test wasn't over. To silence the last wave of skeptics, Maxwell agreed to something bold. Taking the car off the closed track and onto public roads under government and media supervision. The route? A grueling, long-distance test that would push the car through mountains, highways, and rough terrains. All while being tracked live by satellite and streamed globally. As the car rolled out of the test site with cameras following, Elon Musk himself was said to be watching closely from Tesla headquarters, his analysts scrambling to understand what Maxwell had unleashed. The public road trial begins. The convoy moved out of the gated facility and onto the main highway. A fleet of media vans, drones, and government vehicles surrounded Maxwell's self-powered EV. Every mile was being tracked. Every detail live-streamed to millions of viewers worldwide. As the car glided silently down the highway, onlookers poured onto bridges and sidewalks to catch a glimpse. People waved flags, chanted Maxwell's name, and recorded videos that instantly flooded social media. This wasn't just a test drive anymore. It was a global spectacle. Inside the car, the dashboard showed something that stunned even the engineers riding along. The energy level remained unchanged, steady, constant, as though the car was tapping into an invisible reservoir of infinite power. Unexpected challenges on the road. To push the limits, the officials set a demanding route. Steep mountain inclines, dusty rural tracks, and congested city streets. Each segment was designed to test torque, endurance, and adaptability. At one point, as the car climbed a grueling mountain road, a journalist inside whispered, This is where any EV would struggle. The battery drain should be massive. But to their amazement, the car accelerated smoothly with no signs of strain. Down in the valley, crowds cheered as news anchors declared, the self-powered EV is not just surviving, it's thriving. Global reactions intensify. In Silicon Valley, engineers at Tesla and Rivian were glued to their monitors. Elon Musk himself reportedly leaned over his analyst's shoulders, his face unreadable. Rumors swirled that he had already called an emergency board meeting. Meanwhile, in Europe and Asia, energy ministers were scrambling. The implications were earth-shaking. If this car truly eliminated the need for charging infrastructure, then trillions of dollars invested in charging stations, oil pipelines, and grid expansions could become obsolete overnight. And in Africa, celebrations erupted. For many, this was more than a car. It was a symbol of technological independence. The final stretch of the trial. As the car entered the last leg of the test, the convoy headed toward a major city where thousands had gathered to witness history. Drones captured sweeping cinematic shots of the sleek vehicle gliding effortlessly into the urban skyline. Maxwell, seated quietly in the back, finally leaned toward the camera crew and said, This isn't about me. It's about showing the world that Africa can lead the future. And today, the world has seen it with their own eyes. The roar of the crowd waiting ahead grew louder as the car approached, not slowing, not struggling just silently rewriting history one mile at a time. The city trial, chaos and order. As the self-powered EV rolled into the bustling city, the roar of thousands echoed off glass towers. News drones hovered overhead, capturing every angle as global media broadcast a moment live. The car wasn't just moving through traffic. It was gliding, almost as if the chaos around it bent to its presence. Officials directed the convoy into an urban test route, stop-and-go traffic, sudden detours, and heavy intersections. Engineers knew that this was where most EVs hemorrhage energy. But here, something extraordinary unfolded. The energy meter stayed flat. 
A government observer muttered under his breath, This shouldn't be possible. Every movement of a car requires energy, and yet this one behaves like it's pulling from infinity. The extreme stress test. But the trial wasn't over. Hours later, under strict secrecy, officials transported the car to a remote testing ground in Nevada's desert. This was the next phase. Extreme conditions. The plan? To run the car across scorching desert sands, through artificial storm setups, and later, into refrigerated chambers replicating Arctic cold. The first test began under the blazing sun, temperatures soaring to nearly 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Engineers wanted to see if the self-power system would falter under thermal stress. But the car moved like a predator across the sand, unbothered by heat or terrain. Its cooling system remained steady, its performance untouched. Spectators watching remotely gasped. Social media erupted. It's not just self-powered, it's unstoppable. The declaration. Emerging from the icy chamber, Maxwell addressed the cameras. Today, you've seen what many called impossible. This isn't the end of testing. It's the beginning of a new chapter for humanity. Africa is not following the future. Africa is leading it. The crowd erupted, and within hours, headlines blazed across the world. A car that defies physics? Africa's self-powered EV conquers every test. The world divided. As the dust settled from Maxwell's shocking demonstrations, a new reality emerged. Africa was no longer just a participant in the global technology race. It had taken the lead. For the first time in modern history, the continent was the birthplace of a breakthrough that could reshape civilization itself. But with triumph came tension. In secret meetings, oil executives scribbled frantic notes. Defense officials drafted new reports marked classified, strategic threat. And lobbyists began pressuring lawmakers to regulate the new technology before it could disrupt entire economies. Meanwhile, African leaders met in Addis Ababa to sign what the press later called the Energy Independence Accord. For once, unity prevailed as nations pledged to keep the technology African owned. Even as foreign powers circled like sharks, the first fleet, months later, the first fleet of self-powered EVs rolled off production lines in South Africa, Rwanda, and Zimbabwe. They weren't just luxury models for the elite. They were affordable, rugged vehicles designed to transform everyday lives. In villages once cut off by lack of fuel, children rode to school in silent EVs. Farmers transported goods without ever paying for diesel again. Cities began dismantling fuel stations, replacing them with service hubs for self-powered cars. The impossible had become ordinary. Maxwell's final words. Standing before a global audience at the United Nations, Maxwell Chikambutso spoke with humility, but also conviction. This invention is not mine alone. It belongs to the soil that raised me, to the hands that built it, and to the millions of Africans who dreamed of freedom. For too long, we have powered the world while living in darkness. Today, we light our own path. And tomorrow, that light will guide the world. The legacy begins. The applause was thunderous. Even Elon Musk, watching from the front row, rose to his feet, nodding in quiet respect. For once, competition took a back seat to admiration. Maxwell's car wasn't just a machine. It was a declaration that the future could be built in Africa by Africa for the world. And as the first self-powered fleet spread across continents, one thing became undeniable. The age of dependence on oil and endless charging was over. A new era of limitless mobility had begun.